Welcome to Tech Brothers with Amiri. In this video, we are going to learn how you can load multiple CSV files to Azure SQL table. And then once you are done with the loading to the SQL table, then you would like to move those files to the some archive folder and finally delete them from the source folder. So this is a real time scenario and we have a lot of uh, um, customers uh, that, that where we have to implement this type of uh, scenarios. Okay, so here we have uh, some files. I'm going to show you those files. I have four uh, files here. It's called the MP1. This has a uh, EMP ID and EMP name so there are two columns and there are two rows in this file same way I have a, a couple of records for each of the file so the header is same so if you notice that EMP ID and EMP name what I have done on Azure side I have this database called tech res IT and let me I have actually this uh, table I'm gonna go ahead and drop it and then recreate so I have creating a table called dbo.emp and the column name EMP ID and EMP name and uh, this is an integer type and the other one is a worker so same column names what we have in the file so let's go ahead and create this uh, table and this is on Azure okay now let's go back to the azure and we go to portal.azure.com and there i have some storage and i have this uh, sql database that i just showed you right here in ssms so that's what our database is okay now uh, if you uh, want to go ahead and uh, here is our storage so we need to have some containers there where we would upload these files manually for now and then uh, what we are going to do we are going to load those files uh, to the sql so let's go to our storage if you don't know how to create the storage watch my previous videos and you would know that uh, go to containers and in the container i'm going to create a couple of uh, containers so first of all i would like to create a container called db source that's where our files uh, will uh, be placed at first then now uh, what we are going to do we are going to call it uh, another one tb archive okay the, in this folder we will uh, move the files okay so let's go to the tb source and here uh, what i'm going to do i'm going to load uh, upload those files uh, click on upload and uh, then navigate to the your desktop or wherever the files are and here my files are i'm going to select all and you can see right there they are selected if you want to override it yes but I don't have any of them so uh, they are just gonna be fine click on one of them and see the data so edit and we can see the data is right there looks good so our files are placed correctly in the folder called TB source now what we need to do we need to move um, copy these files or data of these files to the SQL table and uh, then archive these files in this uh, folder okay there is no file in this one now let's go to the Azure data factory so how you're gonna go to the Azure data factory here is my ADF uh, tech Brothers IT uh, ADF uh, and go to the studio and uh, it's opening Azure Data Factory. Now you can always open with the adf.azure.com and then connect to your uh, data factory there. Now we, what we need to do, the very first thing what we are going to do, we are going to create some linked services. These are the connection to our storage or our SQL database in this case. Now I'm going to click on create linked service and here I know that my source or where i will be moving the files that's going to be the archive folder there that's azure blob storage so i select azure blob storage it's asking me i'm going to name this one i will call it tb storage okay so i will select a subscription then i'm going to select the storage account in this case, you notice that I did not go to the container level. So it is a pointer or it is a connection to my storage. So it is not a connection to my source or my archive folder and all other containers inside. So this linked service is pointing to my main storage. So I'm going to test this connection and it looks good. And I'm going to go ahead and create it. Now, the next part is as we have to read the data from our storage and load the data to the SQL, uh, um, that's our Azure SQL Server. So we have to create the connection. So I'm going to go ahead and say Azure SQL. And uh, here is the uh, Azure SQL database. We select that one. And I'm going to name this one uh, uh, TB. Uh, we can call it uh, Tech Brothers. Brothers ITDB. OK. So we are all good here I'm gonna provide this sub subscription here I'm gonna provide the name of the uh, SQL server here is tech IT name of the database is tech IT 
and then uh, authentication is the SQL authentication. Uh, I'm going to call this a TB user. That's my user that I've been using uh, for SQL authentication, and I have to provide the password for that. So now I'm going to test it and the test success successful. Let's create. Now we have two linked services. One is pointing to our storage. Another one is to SQL, uh, Azure SQL. So we are all good here. Next is uh, we are creating our uh, ETL part. That's uh, click on author. Here is pipeline. That's like SSIS package right here. So here we call that a pipeline, a new pipeline. I'm going to name some uh, very nice name. So I will call it PL. PL pipeline load uh, EMP files. Okay, so you can come up with some better name than me, but anyways, it's all good. Now, first of all, I would like to copy the files to the SQL table. So I'm gonna uh, get the copy activity here. I, I should do some name, uh, copy EMP files to EMP EMP table. Okay, activity name, uh, that's what I gave, and you can see right there. Now we are gonna go to the source. And here I have to choose, uh, I have to create this data source. If you see right there, there is no data set here. And uh, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna create a new data set, hit new, and uh, what, what type of uh, source we are using here? So we are using blob, right? We need to read the data from our EMP files. So CSV files right there, good. So let's give some name. So I will say P, we will say PL1DS uh, and uh, I will call it uh, DS source. Okay, so we call this, uh, this is the name I gave and then a linked service. Remember that one of the storage uh, connection we have created. So that's where TB storage uh, now is pointing to our storage, but uh, we need to point further where our files are. So we have to provide the file path. Here is container name directory if uh, there is a directory inside the container and then file name i'm gonna hit the browse and point to the tb source that's my folder where my files are and if you notice that there is no directory here because i do not have any subdirectory inside tb source for the container now files i'm not providing one file because i would like to load multiple files okay and here i can say first row has header yes it does and uh, import schema I don't care about that part leave it to none we will talk about this one later hit okay now our source is ready what we are going to do we are going to go to the sink now and inside the sink what we will do we will create another data set if you notice here we up now data set is created now this data set is going to be our SQL table Azure data uh, let me see Azure SQL. Okay, Azure SQL database. Click yes. Now, if you know that, uh, I'm gonna call it uh, PL underscore one underscore DS underscore EMP table. Okay. Now, remember that we tag versus uh, IT uh, DB. That's the link service we created. That's pointing to our Azure database. So that's what we are gonna use. And uh, when we created that link server, it did not ask us the table name. So here the data set uh, will ask you because now it is pointing to a table so we have to provide a table here tb emp we have created that ta table by ourselves with some schema called emp id that was integer type and emp name that is was a worker so import schema no i don't care about that one hit okay this is a fantastic what we have done uh, as of now we have a, a source ready and then we have our sync ready that's destination in the source uh, one thing i would like to fix more because i have not uh, provided the list of the uh, files i'm going to click on wild called file path so then uh, in the tb folder what type of files you would like to load i would like to load anything that start with any name dot txt so if there is any other other file csv or anything like that it's going to ignore that file also i have the freedom to just choose more if i want to say anything that start with the emp so remember in our storage i have the files uh, let me go back here in the container 
and if you notice that there was four files and the three of them uh, start with the EMP 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 and this start with T test so if I wanna ignore the test one I can always ignore and only load the three of them so let's go ahead and take a look here so let's say anything start with the EMP asterisk.txt that's what we are gonna load and uh, this is how one file will be ignored fine now once these uh, files are loaded uh, what I would like to do I would like to create another copy activity in this case uh, I'm gonna move the files so I'm gonna say move files right because uh, I actually copy file first copy files to archive folder okay so first is loading to the SQL table second is moving to the archive folder and uh, here is our uh, source so I'm gonna go ahead and click uh, on uh, I think I can use the same data set actually why because this is pointing to the same uh, source to the folder so this is good uh, and a uh, wildcard and then I will do the same thing here EMP and uh, dot asterisk okay sorry uh, EMP asterisk dot txt so only move the files uh, which has the name of EMP starting and then uh, those are the files uh, ending with the extension dot txt so okay so we are all good I'm gonna go to sync here and uh, in the sync I have to create the new data set because I have to point to the new uh, folder so here uh, blob click on blob and here CSV files are good and uh, now if you ask me I'm gonna call this one PL DST DS and the dest archive okay now links linked service will be the same but inside the folder will be changed so what is my path for the folder archive folder I'm gonna hit OK and here I don't need to provide any file name or anything and there is no subdirectory inside that and I also don't care first row has a header because it's gonna get the entire uh, file I'm gonna hit none here alright so now we are done two things our first we are loading the table second copying the files and then the last step what we have to do we have to delete the files in the source so I'm gonna use delete activity here and let's make a connection there and now we go to delete and here in the source uh, remember what type of files we would like to delete or read in the DS source uh, that's uh, our data source uh, okay and uh, then uh, here I'm gonna do the same thing as uh, I want to do only thing EMP asterisk.txt files so I don't want to delete all the files but only EMP files so I can do that if I want to delete everything I can just leave asterisk dot asterisk you know so my choice so now and uh, here uh, it's asking you hey you want to log some information somewhere and where you would like to log which files you would and this uh, delete activity has deleted so I'm gonna say okay just uh, on the storage uh, on the top level uh, put that information in this uh, container where it is pointing to just uh, have that there you know so it's all good now now we can go ahead and publish if we would like or we can debug I'm gonna start with the debugging so what this activity should do it should read three files load the data into the EMP table so there should be six records then it should move those files actually copy those files to the archive folder and then finally delete from our source folder so there should be one file sitting there without any problem that is text test underscore EMP I'm gonna go ahead and debug I'm really start liking this uh, ADF Azure Data Factory, and I hope you guys enjoy this video the same way um, you you like my SSIS videos. Uh, I I would like to ask you guys subscribe to channel because uh, this is kind of pretty sh shameful. <laughs> like I have 20 million uh, views, uh, but I have only 62,000 subscribers, and there are people like have uh, even uh, you know not even one third of the views what I have but they have a hundred thousand or two hundred thousand subscribers so if you enjoy the videos uh, I, I there is a tons of watch time on these videos uh, so uh, go ahead and subscribe it you know it's not gonna hurt now anyways uh, here copy uh, EMP files to EMP table and uh, uh, right here you can see input output and there there you are gonna see detail click on detail and we see that it read three files and it uh, rows uh, total rows read six and uh, here it uh, has written six rows so good now let's go back to our table and take a look here and I'm gonna see how many rows six rows 
so it from three files it loaded six rows good next our copy files it copy three files you know uh, from our uh, uh, blob storage and then written to the archive so that's good so we are going to go ahead and take a look there uh, right here i'm going to go back to storage and in the archive we see three files good now the next part let me see if i want to open it and i want to make sure the records are written correctly so yeah see uh aha so if you notice that we did not select the header in the source uh, in the copy so what happened it uh, does not have that uh, header here in the files so we have to fix that anyways we are going to do that now we go back here and finally it has uh, deleted uh, the rows sorry deleted the files so we see that uh, it has uh, now in the source uh, if i go in the source uh, I have only one test.emp because everything started with the emp that's what we wanted to load now the only thing we missed here our files which are moved to the archive those guys don't have any header right so we have to fix that so when see right there yep okay so what we are going to do here we are going to go back to the this guy and uh, in the source of we are going to go to the open and uh, here we are going to say first row has header yes so source has it so in the destination uh, where we go to the sink and uh, here we open it and uh, first row has header yes so that's what we need to click on okay so now we should be all good uh, but how we test it first of all we will truncate our emp table now there are no more records there second part what we are going to do we are going to go back to the ADF here we are going to re-upload these files okay so let's go to storage uh, we can delete these files there if we want to uh, here is a let's go back here let me see so what I want to do here go to containers and uh, here uh, I want to show you that the uh, log actually so see right there uh, these are this is generated by the delete activity so if you click here and edit uh, it's going to show you number of files it has uh, deleted so emp1 emp2 and emp3 they, these are the files uh, were deleted uh, and uh, that's the log came from our delete activity remember that uh, the log we are going to put it so that's where it put it if you want to give to some specific folder you can always create a log folder and put it there all right so we should be all good here I'm going to go back to storage and in the storage uh, in the source uh, I'm gonna upload these files again so we have some nice files right there and when we move them they should have the header too okay upload now we go back to our Azure data factory and we rerun the entire thing again so we hit debug it's uh, queued again and now what's this gonna do it's gonna read those three files load to the sql table so right now let's see if it is loading yes it loaded all three uh, three files and then uh, finally what is this going to do it's going to work on the next one so it uh, copied a file from uh, our source folder to the archive and then uh, finally it deleted them so let's go to the source uh, still that test uh, underscore emp is sitting there because we are only filtering for uh, our these guys so these are loaded now click there in the archive and we see that now it has the D header okay so this is how you it's gonna work for you so uh, if uh, you are interested to load the even last file, file test underscore EMP and that's gonna be just fine what you have to do you have to click here in the wildcard instead of uh, EMP remove that asterisk txt file okay that's what you're gonna do so now it's gonna read that file as well and here you're gonna go to source and here you remove that too so once it's loaded then it will copy this file as well and finally in the source in the delete you're gonna go and do everything so now it's gonna delete everything that has extension txt just make sure that's what you want okay now we are gonna go ahead and start debug this time it should load one file and that has two records and this that name is test underscore emp
pretty interesting in this uh, short time of what we can do with the Azure Data Factory in 20 minutes or uh, less than 20 minutes. I mean, this is amazing what we have achieved. So here, if you see that uh, it has read one file, you know, and then uh, only two rows and uh, from uh, blob storage to this Azure database that has written. So we are going to go ahead and take a look here. And you notice that there are two records. It has test in that right there. So these are the guys which are written from the test file to our table. Now, next part is they should be copied from the source to the archive. And we can go and take a look. So now there should be no file in the source. OK, so there is no file. Good. That should be where in the archive. So we should check that. Here it is. Let's go and take a look at it that's what it is so it is moved right there and then our final is it has been deleted from the source so it has been let's go ahead and take a look on the log information and here if we check and edit it's showing us this information right there let me see if this new log is created let me refresh okay we are waiting Yes, so every time uh, if uh, the new log will be created, so let's see which log it is. It should have only one entry because there was only one file we loaded. Okay, this is uh, again uh, the one. Uh, let me fill, see if which time stamp we have. Okay, uh, 29, 35. Yeah, this one. Okay, that's the latest one. Okay, and uh, that. Uh, in which we have only one file right there test underscore emp so now you can do a lot more with the login and uh, i just uh, left it right there so you can always put in a folder and then sort it and all those kind of things and you can put the name actually so your choice so thank you very much for watching and i hope uh, this video will help uh, to create some real-time scenarios for you and uh, i will see you guys in the next video thank you